Hi, this is Rick again. Um, one of my users asked me if uh, I could make a tutorial. Uh, this is Bandito, and uh, he wants to know if I can make it a tutorial of when the player, when the mission starts, a character sleeping, wakes up, uh, and heads over to the briefing. Um, it sounded like a fairly simple thing to do, but unfortunately, Armor Three doesn't really have proper animations for a sleeping process. So um, I searched through the animation viewer, which I'm presumably you all know about. Uh, if you click on tools, you can take it takes you into the animation viewer. You can toggle the various settings and have a look at the various animations. Um, in this particular instance. Um, I'm going to run it. I'm going to look for uh, cutscenes. And um, let's run the animation at normal speed. The one animation that I found was quite useful is this one here. He's kind of lying on his side. It looks like he's sleeping. This animation is 43.859 seconds long. If I speed it up, you can see kind of what it what actually happens. It looks like he's a little hungover, disorientated. So anyway, after searching through all the different animations, I came up with some nice static animations or ways of making these objects static. So you could have a, a bunk, a bunker with some, uh, or barracks, I should say, with some, some, uh, some bunks in it and you could put some AI into those and the tricky part with this is that a human player um, given that we've got limited animations to, to work with the only way I can get a, a human player to wake up from a sleeping position is to have him on the floor if you position him here he's going to suddenly at a certain point when he transitions to the normal default animations he's going to go into a standing position um, and I've tried a number of things, but I can't get the process to work reliably because uh, ideally you'd like him to sort of kind of swing sideways onto the bed and then in a sitting position and jump down. Um, and I can't find the transitional animation sequence that, that makes it look realistic. So um, for the time being, you'd, be, you'd have to be lying in a, on a sleeping, sleeping, um, sleeping bag. So anyway, so let's just see how these different ones work. Um, very short little script. Um, Bandito said uh, if I could try and do it with the least amount of code possible. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So basically I've copied uh, all of these into the debug console and I'll show you how that works now. Um, there are two options for the, for the lying statics, um, the static animations. One is lying wounded loop. And the other is just um, basically lying on your back. Um, then there's the third one, which is the one where he's lying on his side, which we just saw now. And the only way to get these animations to work reliably is to obviously position the object over the uh, bunk bed. In this case, I named the bunk bed one uh, for each of the different bunk beds. Obviously, one bunk bed has got two layers. Um, I then disable the object called sleeper which is the guy AI uh, disable his animation ability so he can't switch into other animations um, I switch move him into the unconscious stand-up position now uh, this is a 43.859 uh, uh, second animation so you need to force uh, stop this animation before it starts playing through uh, so you do that by disabling simulation on the object um, then set the direction to the bunk bed and so he will basically lie in the right direction um, same thing applies for each of them disable simulation on the object so that they are static and they will just lie there for basically forever so if I set up a little example here so if I go into this play as this character
Now you'll notice that I didn't use uh, attach to in any of those examples. The reason being that uh, if you were in this barracks over here, um, you wouldn't be able to attach it to the bunk bed. You could attach it to the barracks and then offset it, but that's kind of a tedious process. Um, so basically, let's just execute that little script. I've just copied and pasted it into the debug console. Okay, so we have all these people lying down. I've offset them so that they look like they're lying in the middle. I stuck a pillow, pillow under this guy's head and this guy's floating very slightly. Um, I can't remember which one that was. That was the guy that's sleeper two. So sleeper two needs to be reduced in height slightly. So sleeper two, so make it 1.21. That right. Top bang facing where well, okay, just a second option. Top bunks to one. Yeah, I can see him dropping. Make it one line. Kinda of looks realistic now. He's slightly sunk into the bed, which is what you'd expect. And um And they're statics, they're not going to move. This guy's got a bit of a weird neck position, but he's supposed to be injured, but you kind of just think he's sleeping. And then this position over here, um, which I'm now going to play as a character. I'm going to post these snippets of scripts onto under the YouTube video, so you can copy and paste them into your video, into your mission. Alright, so let's just see, we have nothing running under Sleeper 4, we'll grab Sleeper 4's little bit of script, this is the one that I'm going to play as a character, okay, so now we're going to play as character. It's quite a nice animation, so what I've actually done, because it's 43.8 seconds, it's a rather long sort of animation wake up sequence, so I've sped up the animation coefficient so I'm doubling the speed of the playback so this is what it looks like when you're lying on the down as a player you wake up clearly you had a too many red red goals <laughs> get up a little disorientated maybe marginally hung over kind of look around and then switches moves in switch moves you into default animation position so it's actually reasonably good in terms of the transition there is no as i said transition very clear transition between that animation and a normal default animation so there is a slight glitch but but the fact is that it works pretty well so i think that's a solution for your to your question um let me just show you how that little script works So I run it in non-scheduled because I need to use a sleep function. Okay, so there's no handle to the script. I'm not passing anything to the script, so I'm just saying spawn. Then sleeper four, which just so uh, happens to be this guy. Sleeper four. And um, I switch move him into this animation state. I set the direction to bunk of by to the direction of bunk three plus 45 degrees uh, because it's actually angled the default animation has got a 45 degree offset I then move him into bunk three and uh, I move him slightly back in the bed because he's slightly curved so you want him to be positioned in the center of the bed um, I move him slightly up towards the end of the bed um, and, I, and, I, and I raise him just slightly above the ground so it looks like he's not sunk into the ground because you've got the sleeping bag underneath him. I then uh, change the animation coefficient. So I'm running this animation at twice normal speed. I sleep it for 21.5 seconds. Remember the original one was 43.859 or something like that. So approximately, I found that's the best sleeping time. Excuse the pun. 
Then uh, I set the animation coefficient back to one and I switch move him out of the current state because um, I found that the end sequence, sometimes if you use a wait until animation phase is completed on this animation, there is a kind of a weird thing that happens. So I actually rather would speed up the animation um, and then basically switch move him out of it. And you get, as I said, you as you saw, you get a reasonably decent kind of completion or transition to the basic uh, basic animation. So I'll just play his character again on this and you can see that process working one more time. As I said, I'm going to put the, these little s code uh, snippets underneath the um, YouTube description. So I'll watch it from third person. So he puts his hand up like he's blinded by the bright light, which is kind of cool because he's hungover. <laughs> Looks around like, where the hell am I? Oh crap, I'm still in the army. And then, and then it switch moves him out. So it's reasonably good, the transition. So I hope that was of, you, of use to you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers.